again. I've decided to take some breaks between recording these calls. Not many are left, but still, I didn't think it would be this stressful. I've just got some notes, not a script or anything. I feel like I might be talking too much about things that are obvious for you, so I'm just going to wing this one. I think at this point you must be pretty confident with your job now, if you can even call it that. I think now might be a good time for you to know a little more about me. I have a feeling that you might be curious, am I wrong? Right then. I was born in November 1968 in Texas, lived a fine life up until my teens, had no real problems with my family, but we weren't exactly rich. My father was an architect at the time, and my mother stayed home with my brother and I. Until the 80s, we lived in a flat, or I suppose it would have been called an apartment over there. It was pretty decent, I think, but honestly, I can't remember much. I had an accident in my teens, stuff I really don't want to talk about. Please don't ask. I might explain in a later call or something if there is a t- uh, time. Anyway, fortunately, I survived the injury, believe it or not. It was all down to a very generous donor of blood. The whole thing was pretty strange and vague for us, and all I know was a small team of people, or maybe it was one person, was willing to give tons of blood to the hospital, and after an entire encyclopedia of signed papers, the transfusion was allowed on behalf of the procedure being an experiment. I was close to death, bear in mind. I lost most of my memory from before the incident, and the whole event caused a huge stir in the media. I was 18, and with the state I was in, paparazzi wasn't the best treatment. You know? So I sorted out something with my parents, and we moved here to England. So, uh, hopefully on top of being a security guard, you can be a friend too. I wanted to get some of these stories off my chest for a while, since, uh, I don't have many people to share them with. And my daughter's kind of busy most of the time, to someone for me to talk to. And of course, listen to, so go ahead. What do you want to talk about? Ah, yeah. So this place looks significantly expensive to run, I'm sure. Especially for one person, right? Well, it is. Thousands of pounds put in and out of this place every day. It's still a little independent cafe kind of thing, but the technology does make it seem professional, I suppose. Money isn't really an issue for me anymore. I've sold stuff before the pizzeria was opened, mainly based around robotics, machinery, whatnot. And of course, the pizzeria itself brings in a significant amount of cash to put back into ingredients, electricity, materials for the printers, etc. As I mentioned earlier, Popgoes does most of the work, so I don't need to hire a cleaner or a chef. I also got a decent amount of money from the injury I mentioned. I can't remember how that worked, but I'd rather avoid mentioning it in case it was a mistake and they want it back. Anyway, I hope that cleared it up. Good question. See you tomorrow.